Hi folks, it's uh, Kevin Beasley from uh, New Start Realty and Relocation in Surprise, Arizona. And uh, I've been doing a bunch of video tips lately. And I think um, I touched on this subject a little while ago, but I, I just got a call from one of my clients. And um, he wanted to uh, know if he could have a lockbox key to one of my properties. I said, dude, I'm not going to do that. And, and he gave me the number. He said, well, this guy will. And he gave me the address and the phone number of this guy. And I want to tell you guys, this is this really happens. I mean, uh, I, I'm going to call this guy, and hopefully, I'm real limited on what I can put on the speaker, but I'd like to put as much as I can so you can see how these jokers operate, okay? And um, so I'm going to try to pretend like I'm wanting to see a property. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get a lockbox key. Let's see if I can call this guy. Hi, uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is uh, Bill Westy in Surprise, and I was driving by your property I saw on Lundberg Street, and uh, I was wondering uh, when if we could take a look at that. Um, how about tomorrow? Well, I I don't have a all I got's a flip phone and I uh, really don't know how to take pictures with it or anything. Um, <laughs> could you just come send somebody out tomorrow and from your office? No, you know, no, you know what, Bill? That's not that's not really a big deal. As long as you can just give me uh, your license number and your social security number, I can just go ahead and give you that code. I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Uh, hold on a second here. It's an Arizona license. Expires March of 2025. It is AO15. Let's see, I can't see here. 16346 one, Two zero. Okay, and your social? Five two six three six five one three one. Okay, give me a give me just a minute, and I'll call you right back with that code. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Incredible. So he said, call me back, check the ML out, or check his record, see what it is. In, in, incredible. Um, if you guys, you know, if you're taking a listing, if you're going to list your property, do not, do not let your agent give out the lockbox codes, okay? And, um, you know, in all areas, Scottsdale and Surprise here, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> these people will, will come and figure out a way to get into your house and um, steal your belongings. Even if it's vacant and you have, but if you have a, you know, they don't care. And if even if you have a camera, you know, those motion detection cameras, don't, um, you know, don't trust those. They can get, grab your refrigerator and be out of there in 10 minutes, throw it in the back of a truck and be gone. I've seen it happen. I've seen. I've seen. I seen it with armless lock boxes. Hold on. Bill here. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll let you know. I got the lockbox code to that one. This is the way it works. I, you know, I, I have several agents, and I've talked to my property manager, and I put out the word, if you guys do this without written permission from the owner, I will fire you immediately. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts. I would prefer not to even do it with written permission, but, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes they want to do it. Uh, the, the, their owner's real cool with it for some reason. I don't know, unless it's totally vacant. But you know what? It, you know, it's not just thieves. They go in there, um, you know, guys with dates go in there and hang out with their girlfriends. They go in there and crackheads will go in there and smoke crack and try to steal the what little copper plumbing is left. Real bad idea. Um, you'll find most of the people are not realtors that do this. They're just agents who work under a realtor. And that way, you know, so they're, they don't really have to abide as much to the ethics code from the National Association of Realtors as their broker does. But I don't know, if I was a realtor and I was a broker, I would not hire somebody who doesn't refuses to stand up to the ethics that we all swore to live by, you know. But there's a lot of them out there, so incredible. But that's the world that we live in. And uh, please, if you're going to list your home, do not make sure you get a copy of your listing agreement. Find out what your agent's going to be paying the other buyer brokers to. Because if you're paying these guys 6% of a one-year lease, and they're only paying this guy 150 200 bucks, your home's not going to get shown. Now, you know, I don't, I don't like it. But I, I do enough of them where I don't really care too much about that. But um, a lot of people won't. So you're going to cut down half your showings right there. And so I hope that this advice sticks. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. 602-920-2201. I'm mostly a tenants agent, but I do take a few listings. Um, so... But most of the time, I represent the highest and best interest of the tenants. But um, give me a call anytime with any questions that you might have. Again, that number is 602-920-2201. Thanks, and have a great day.